Hey Seahawks, it's so great to almost be ready to open up our campus for hybrid learning. We are all so excited about the opportunity to get students back on campus here, and I'd like to take a little bit of your time to show you what a day in the life of hybrid learning is going to look like here at Serrano. You're going to notice our main gate, and as you come through our main gate, you're gonna see signs that are posted around campus, and this is one of them. Masks are required. So anywhere you go on campus, indoors or outdoors, we are all going to be wearing masks to make sure we are all staying safe and healthy. Another thing you're going to notice as you move around campus is you will see stickers in various places. Some like these will be marking socially distanced appropriate places to stand and wait in lines. This one, for example, is for our attendance windows, and this is mainly for visitors who are coming on campus. Next, you're going to notice that we have one-way hallways and entrances only and exits only. And these are some of the doors that you will enter in only. You're going to see those stickers again pointing to the one-way stairways. You're also going to notice that we have limited space in certain places, not only your classrooms, but the restrooms as well. So restrooms have a rule of no more than two people at a time indoors, inside, and you are socially distanced when you are in there. If you walk in and there's more, there's two or more people in there, you need to step out and wait outside until somebody leaves the restroom and then you can enter in. We have hand sanitizing stations around campus placed for your convenience and to make sure that your hands are always staying clean. So now I would like to take you through what a normal day is going to look like for you. As you arrive in the parking lot, your parents will be pulling up and dropping you off as they normally would have in our parking lot. Once you leave the car, you're going to remain socially distanced and you're going to be walking and moving onto our campus. You'll notice that around our flagpole, that's an area where students normally congregate in the morning, but that is not going to be the case this year. So students, once they arrive on campus, will be moving to a secondary location. You'll see that our seventh graders will head through the main gates, through the forum, and into their designated area, which is going to be the basketball courts, which you'll see in a moment. The eighth graders are going to move and they are going to proceed toward the solar panels or our upper field and they are going to wait there. This will only be a, a place you're going to be for the first week of the school, but this is where we're going to start out and this is where we're going to meet at the beginning of each day this first week. Once you leave that area, or once the bell rings, you are going to proceed toward class. And there are certain places you can walk and move about, and we'll show those to you a little bit later. But remember, these students, as they're showing you here, are entering into our main building, the 100 and the 200 building, through the entrance doors only. And if you're facing the office with your back to the library, these are going to be the doors on your left. So these students are walking through the designated hallway that they are supposed to be going through. And you'll see that there are stickers on the floor showing them which direction they go. Then they approach the stairwell and they move in that direction. You'll see some students go up, some students go down. Now when you arrive at your classroom, you're going to wait outside of the classroom for your first hour class of the day. And these students, you'll see, are waiting outside, socially distanced, wearing their masks, waiting for their teacher. Once the teacher calls you in, the teacher, for the first hour of each day, is going to ask you to take your temperature, as shown by Mr. Rubio here. And these students take their temperature by putting their forehead close to the thermometer, and you'll get a nice green light and a beep, and you are on your way to your seat. On your way to your seat, you're going to pick up a sanitizing wipe. And that sanitizing wipe is for you to 
wipe down the workstation that you will be working on or working at during that specific period. So you'll make sure that you clean all of the touch points that are there in the desk area where you will be and even on that divider. As you can see from these students in this sample classroom, they are all socially distanced and they do have the dividers that are there for students to use. At the end of each class, students will get up, they will drop their wipe into the trash can, and they will move on toward their next class. Now you'll notice that some of these students are going through the hallway in the direction against the arrow. So our able body wonderful ASB president is calling them back and directing them down following the arrows in the one-way hall system. And remember, all hallways inside and outside of Serrano are all turning in a clockwise manner. So just like a clock is the same direction you are going to be walking in our hallways indoors and outdoors. These students happen to be in the 200 building, so they are walking up and around. They had one of the first classrooms in the building, but to exit the building, they do need to walk clockwise all the way around through the hallways until they get all the way around to the other stairwell. And here they are at the stairwell, walking down, following the arrows, and now they are looking and they are going the correct direction, following the arrows to the exit-only doors. Next up, the 300 building. These students are walking in to the entrance-only doors, just outside of that building. And here we are in the forum. These students are walking around the forum and they are following a clockwise pattern. Students that have classes in the A portables or the M portables will walk out through the gates. Now, at break time, you guys will get to walk out the gates and you will be able to have break in the lunch area or on the basketball courts. Notice these students are all socially distanced at their tables and notice many of them have water bottles, which is exactly what we're hoping that all of you will bring a water bottle so that you will be able to have something to drink during the day. And also you can bring a snack with you so that you can have something to eat. And guess what? You get to take your mask off while you have a snack outdoors at break. That's going to be the only time when you're eating or drinking at break that you can take the mask off. At the end of break, you're going to notice that you do not re-enter the forum through the gates that you went out. You will be directed, much like our president is showing us here, to go around the outside of the PE building and come back in through the gates on the other side of the forum to re-enter the building after break or after any of your classes in the A or the M portables. As these students re-enter the forum, notice that they are following the clockwise pattern as they go into the forum. Now here's where our directions are for the end of the day. At the end of the day, you'll see the red arrows in this overhead satellite image show the exit patterns to leave campus. And this is the way we want you to leave campus each and every day. However, if you choose to get lunch, and by the way, there won't be any lunch eaten on campus, but it is a grab-and-go lunch. And you're going to have the opportunity not only to pick up lunch, but you can pick up breakfast for the next day as well if you'd like. But if you'd like lunch, you're going to follow those yellow arrows and you will exit around the lunch area, around the portables, and you will find where those yellow rectangles are outside of the gym you will be able to pick up a grab-and-go lunch there, then follow the red arrows to exit the campus. So, once school is over, you are going to exit through our exit gates or around by where you got lunch, and you will make your way off campus. We are asking all students to leave campus promptly, just like these students are doing here. Meet your rides, 
grab your bike and go or start walking if you're walking home. But we are asking that students do not hang out and hang around on campus so that you can get home and get to your academic support time so you can connect with your teachers. So this is just a brief snapshot of what a day in the life of a Serrano student will be during hybrid learning. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you on Tuesday.